I'm going to sit in here in my car because I'm I'm just tired. <laughs> I don't really want to go in yet. I'm enjoying the sunshine too. It was a little, very rainy this morning and stuff. Um, but... Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, whatever. Anyway. Um, I wanted to just talk a little bit about... Um, Johnny Depp and that uh, I did a video and there's been a, a few videos out about him buying the home in Somerset in Britain um, right and uh, and one of my uh subscribers left a comment that I, I think bears repeating because it's very true I think people forget and this is what they said people forget because of the trial and everything and you know they forget what Johnny Depp was like before all of that you know he was very secluded you know he came out during the um pandemic and for the first time ever got on social media and made his first ever post you know on instagram um because of that post i started i started learning piano again and um i'm ever so grateful for that and a lot of us you know a lot of us attribute um some of the things we've accomplished in the last few years to him because of his own um, encouragement, his own advice and um, his own strength. But people forget before that, how often did we really hear from him unless it was a movie that he did, you know? And um, but, or, you know, an interview here and there throughout the years. Um, but I agree with her, with, with the commenter, that we forget what, what, you know, he's, he's a very private, very shy individual. Um, and, you know, during the time of the trial and, and like just after it and all, um, we saw a lot of him and we got used to that and we felt, I guess, in some ways closer to him. He, the discord channel pop discord server popped up. He even made an appearance in there once or twice, um, briefly. And um, you know, and then with his paintings, you know, and, and so, so he's been like, he's been, you know, more in our presence than, you know, um, than in the past. But as I said in my last video, I mean, he flat out comes out and says, you know, that he can be who he is who he wants to be, who he, who he really is living out there secluded, you know, semi secluded, I guess, but in privacy and he can, he can actually go into sh and shop and do things there and probably walk around without getting mobbed with people who want his autograph or selfies. And like I, I've said before, there's not enough money for me to want to be famous. There's not. You lose your privacy and you have to fight for your privacy all the time. He can't look at him. He couldn't even go into an antique store without eventually pictures showing up that he went shopping for an antique store, including what he bought. I mean, I guess that's the price of fame, but he didn't even ask for any of that fame. Not really. 
He did what he did to support his family. Um, he acting was never his first passion. Music, music was and is, and um, so like I said, I, I, I really, really, really would not be surprised at all if you saw a very much more reserved Johnny Depp during the Hollywood Vampires tour. I could be wrong. But I just don't think you're going to find him being as accommodating as he has been. You know, could because it just, again, I could be wrong. But it seems like he's telling us himself in, in his way, in his very nice way. You know, hey, sometimes it gets a little crowded. You know, Maybe that could be translated into, you know, guys, I I love you guys. I appreciate your support. I'm giving you all of me. I need some space. You know, I need some space. Um, that's how I take that. Um, and I think, honestly, it's one, besides my anxiety, <laughs> he's been... Within three hours of me twice this year. And neither time did I go to try and see him. I didn't go to sit in the courtroom. I didn't go to <clears throat> see the show with him and Jeff Beck. And I kind of regret that one. But at the same time, I kind of... I didn't want to be one of those. I didn't want to be part of the mob, you know... But I, I show my support for him in other ways, you know, and, um, and something that I've always said anyways, that, you know, if I ever am lucky enough to meet Johnny Depp, I, and I don't want to meet Johnny Depp, the, the star, the movie star, or the rock star I just it would be cool for me just to just to meet um the person Johnny Depp the person I've always said I would not ask for a picture nor an autograph no I mean in fact when I did send a letter um and I sent him one of the books that I had written um don't know to this day if he got it but um it was dealing with narcissism, and I told my story. Um, in the description, you can look for that and go get it from Amazon if, you, if you're if you curious. Um, might help you. But, I just, I've always said that I just, I wouldn't ask for pictures or autographs. I mean, they sent one, you know, the postcard with his autograph on it. Um, with a signature on it, and I just thought, I mean, and I knew that he, it's not like he stood there and signed it. I knew it was like pre, either pre-signed or a stamp, and I didn't care. I just thought it was very kind of his staff to take the time to mail that back to me. I wasn't asking for one. Um, and I really, for real, if he pulled up right beside me right now in my in front of my house, I wouldn't freak out, and I wouldn't ask for a single picture I just think it would be really cool to sit down with him you know for a few minutes and just hear Johnny Depp the person talk you know what I mean poetry talk about poetry read poetry read a short story that maybe no one knows he's written something like that you know um Get some sage advice about life, you know, um, because he's he's lived quite a life. But as I said before, I really and truly would not be the least bit surprised to see him being more reserved in the future, even during the Hollywood Vampire Story. And you guys remember, those that do go to see that concert and to support him. And them remember 
But there are legends on that stage, as well as Johnny Depp, a legend himself. But there are legends on that stage, you know. Be respectful of that. I always kind of felt like Jeff Beck got kind of, I don't know, overlooked sometimes by the fans with everybody mobbing to see Johnny Depp. You know, I always felt like, I always thought in the back of my mind, that's kind of rude, you know, the way they're all hollering for Johnny. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I'm going to get inside here now and enjoy the rest of my, my evening, my weekend, and put this video um, out. There's two videos, this one and then the, the one from where I just spent my Saturday with Emery. You guys take care of yourselves, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye. God bless.